Hello everyone, welcome to the Java Pokemon Project Day 1. So basically, how this is going to work is I'm going to have one week to create Pokemon in Java. So here's what I created on the first day. Here's all the classes by the way, if you were wondering. Alright, here's what I created on the first day. So it's called the Java Pokemon Project, that's the title screen. You can enter and that's the Pokemon Center. There's Collision, so there's the Poke Center, and basically now you can choose a Pokemon, Pikachu, let's, and I haven't added a graphical interface for any of the Pokemon yet, but if you see down here, it's actually regis registering that we have picked Pikachu, so in day two, I'm gonna add the Pokemon, so yeah. Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to part two of the one week java project for pokemon so i updated the title screen i made the poke center better by you can go up to it select your pokemon let's get pikachu and this is where i left off where you can just yeah and then once you go to the pokemon trainer it brings you up to this screen that's where i left off all right everyone welcome to day three so what I did today is I made boundaries so the player can't escape anymore. I um I made the Pokemon choosing system just a little bit less glitchy. So and I also made the Pokemon battle. So what will Loudra do? So you see Loudra's HP, Charger's HP, you can uproar. It's mostly entirely random. Yeah, you see like we both died right there, so I haven't unplanned the game over or fainted thing yet. I just made the thing. And every single Pokemon has a unique thing. A, a unique set of moves. So if I go like... Also, I threw in the joke. Where if you choose Metapod... Uh, the sprites for the battle thing are a little mixed up, that's why. So, yeah, he only has one move, and yeah, he gets annihilated. So yeah, that, that's the battle system, I'm still working on it. Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to the Java Pokemon Project Day 4. Uh, if you can see my day from the following the day, I skipped two days, because yesterday was 4th of July, and I took a break the other day, so... So yeah, so we have, I updated all the graphics as you can see, made the, the stuff smoother. Um, let's go with Venusaur. I still have not fixed that. Anyways, here's the Pokemon Trainer. There's an actual battling system now. So it shows you what move you did. And you see, take down, take down, bat, tackle, tackle, and yeah, so we killed him. And it teleports it back to the overworld, and that's where I got it up so far. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah. Alright, everyone. Welcome back to day five. And so, I made the club, and that's it. This is it. This is a big jigglypuff. I was quite busy today, so I didn't have a lot of time. So, yeah. Hello, and welcome to the last and final entry for the Java Pokemon project. It was late last night, so I didn't get to record uh, day 6, but it is day 7, it's been a week. So, uh, you can see in the corner. So yesterday and today, this is the progress I made. And this is it, so this is the final game. So let's go like with like... Stick with Loudred, I like Loudred. Alright, so this is the club, we can go fight Jigglypuff. So actually this, he's overpowered for Jigglypuff, so we can literally just bite twice and he'll die. But uh, Jigglypuff uses Pound every single time for some reason. Uh, then we have our little trainer over here. There we go. And lastly we have our water guy over here. Bite, bite, you know, he's also 
this guy apparently can kill him. So I used the real Pokemon stats for all these. We can Anyways, um, that is the game. I'll leave it up for download. I'm really proud of it. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed.